Hi, Dick Rochford here. It's uh, Piper Viridian 488 Charlie Alpha, obviously G1000 equipped. And we're making our yeah, way uh, from uh, uh, Jackson, Texas, in East Texas, to Birmingham, Alabama. It's summer right now, and all the temperatures at the surface begin with a nine. So as you might expect, we're uh, uh, having a, a time with the weather. We do have color weather radar, however, this aircraft was just purchased. And as a result, does not yet have uh, an XM subscription for an XRAD. And I'd forgotten how much I rely on that. Uh, not for tactical weather flying, but for strategic weather flying. As long as we're maintaining VMC between the clouds, we uh, could safely do this. But, you know, with just color weather radar, the, the closest we have to get within 60 miles or, or less of the weather to uh, adjudicate it. And that's, that's no fair if you're, you know, just the tactical tool makes this a little harder. Let me also suggest that um, ATC, that is center, has Nexrat. I don't know that they know what we know about it, but uh, they don't have, the, the center folks don't have Doppler color weather radar. We've got better rain information than they do with with the radar. The problem is the radar isn't uh, looking at the en route environment, our radar. It only goes 40 miles out, which is a lifesaver, and there'd be no way we'd be doing this kind of flying without it today. Uh, but uh, it's also true that Nexrad tells us when we're headed at a particular cell, which way to turn. Two, seven, uh, you'll be exiting my airspace to the east in about uh, 10 miles. I'll probably lose comms with you uh, beforehand. Radar service terminated. In terms of VFR, which way first. we should be turning. So today, we're making the inquiries with ATC and that they're okay, but they're not, that's not their job. So it, I, do, I feel a little guilty asking, but if I have to, I will. And uh, now then, there's a MOA out here today that's just gone hot that we're flying over through. And uh, so now we're down to 7,000. We're getting into these clouds. And the shapes give me some hope that this is a decent strategy. Shed 160, emergency departure. Rare. And I've always said hope is not a strategy. But we have places to run. In other words, we're not wedded to to one thing. Uh, we've elected Birmingham for fuel because it gives us, um, it keeps us north of the weather down in the Tallahassee slash uh, Titusville neck of the woods, which is where we're going. Anyway, this is just a, a little discussion on how to operate when you don't have all of the weather tools that you're used to having. The, the answer is you, you need to be careful. That is, uh, careful to Check make one, six, zero, climb, early one, decisions zero, thousand, contact, about what you're going to do if you can't uh, maintain this visual. Uh, but there are there are plenty of airports that we can go to. But uh, we you know would rather get on the ground, get some uh, uh, get some more water, and uh, evaluate it again. Dick Rochford, fly safely. Train off.